what's good youtube future 22 js back at you with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you aren't already make sure that you take the time to subscribe to the channel drop a like drop a comment on the video share the video if you like and also make sure that you follow me on instagram and tiktok at future 22 js now with the sneakers that i have for you guys today is quite different and to be honest i didn't even plan on making a video for this pickup but i honestly really forgot that this sneaker released this year i hit up my boy dope intentions and he got me right once again i do not have a box because he didn't throw them to me in the box but they did come in this absolutely fire satin dust bag and if you look closely you can see the kd logo with the dragon surrounding it and when you open it up, here we have the Nike KD Year of the Dragon 2.0. I knew I liked it from pictures, but looking at them in hand, this is hands down the best basketball sneaker to release this year. And I will stand on this heel alone, bro. This is fire. So I hit up my boy Dope Intentions in need of a hoop and shoe. Out of the four or five pairs that he had, this was the absolute best pair that he had. So this is the Nike KD Year of the Dragon 2.0. This is an iteration of the KD Year of the Dragon 1.0, which originally released back in 2012. It's the Year of the Dragon once again, and they give us this one in a super fire colorway. And in my opinion, it looks 100% better than the first Year of the Dragon. So getting into the specs, you can see we have all gum KD for outsole that is gum outsole something different i mean the traction level on the yes i took them to the court already and the traction levels on these are absolutely phenomenal bro like i love my gum outsole on any sneaker but i really love it on a basketball sneaker if it gives it the type of traction that it gives these and they're accompanied by the very subtle burgundy hits i don't want to say it's a burgundy but it's more like a dark crimson red accents at the bottom as well we have a brown mesh which is displayed on the mid panel and on the tongue area for ventilation purposes. Wrapping around the toe box in the back here, we have this very small thin sheet of rubberized leather clear that is built to protect your toes from getting stepped on. Brown accents all throughout which includes the sock liner, the KD logo, and the swoosh. The KD logo on the swoosh is very, very fire. It is embroidered in a brown stitching on the back heel, something that just makes this this sneaker stands out. The dragon design that's displayed, it gives the illusion as if the dragon is wrapping around the Nike logo, bro. And the dragon on the back has 3M accents. A brown satin sock liner, and probably the least favorite feature of the sneaker, but nonetheless, it's essential when it comes down to hoops. We have this we have this brown Velcro strap going across, going across the midsection of the entire sneaker. And on the lateral side of it, you will see that big Nike swoosh in the same dark crimson red that we've seen at the bottom of the outsole. The upper portions of the tongue consist of the same tough leather that's on the toe box, the KD logo, the Boston brown and cream at the top of it. That sums up the entirety of the sneaker. In the comment section below, you guys let me know what you think about the KD4 Gear the Dragon 2.0. Shout out to my boy Dope Intention. I really appreciate you bro oh so much. My boy, he's been looking out for me for a a long time his instagram been tripping lately they snatched his account for no apparent reason and the reason that they told him that they snatched it for are things that he 100 percent didn't do at all he's currently in the transition of making all of his sales strictly on tiktok and he has his own website in development right now make sure you guys follow him on there he's a 100 percent legit dude patience is the key didn't expect myself to come across these especially for the price that i got them for but you guys go check them out on tiktok at dope intentions there's dope intentions with a z at the end some of the best prices when it comes down to sneakers both new and new if you guys truly truly rock with them just tell them future sent you future the youtuber sent you i will be sure personally that he show you some massive love of everything that you need adventures apparel hoop sneakers regular sneakers sbs dunks 
whatever you may need, my boy got, for real. I 100% feel you if you don't feel the KDs at all. KDs are not the most appealing sneakers. I have to honestly say that KDs has been the best basketball sneaker colorway wise that Nike has been dropping since Kyrie. All the jaws been trash. All of the Giannis has been trash. Well, not all of this. Maybe been about two or three John Morant's that's been decent, but out of like 47 colorways, you know, ultimately that shoe just not it. And this was a shoe that I was really interested in when it released way back in February. So that's the end of the review. My name is Future22JS and I always know that there's no ceiling to your inner potential. This was my in-hand review of the Nike KD4 Year of the Dragon 2.0. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm now going to leave you with on foot so you can see how they look. Be sure to follow Dope Intentions on TikTok as well. I'm telling you, you guys, just go check my boy out. Even if you don't buy anything, just tell him that you came from Future's page just so he can get his morale back up. Because, bro, it's nothing worse than having to start over. Now, be sure to dream with your eyes open. And always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.